Scholar C is an AI powered article summarizer. Isn't this amazing? A tool that can summarize your research articles for you. So many great articles, so little time. I can definitely associate with that. So we don't have time to read through all the details of an article. So this tool can really help us save hundreds of hours. Extract the key facts, figures and references in seconds. Builds a personalized, summarized research library. So you can sign up for the free trial. I have done that already. And let's look at the pricing. So the free trial is nice and you can get an extension. The Chrome extension. I'll show you what that looks like just now as well. And here we have the personal library. If you go for the paid version or your organization can enroll. Let's start off with the using the Chrome extension. That's the free part of it. So find the Chrome extension in the web store, Scholar C, and add it to your browser. I've pinned it, so it means that I've click this little pin button. Here's the extension little icon. Click the pin button and your Scholar C extension will sit right there. Then go to an article on a web page, any research study. Here I found one on PubMed, impact of physical exercise on depression and anxiety. And click on your Scholar C little batch. Okay, here we have a summary of this article. You can download it in Word, Markdown or PowerPoint. How amazing. Extracted the key concepts. Okay, the abstract is there. Okay, it gives you a synopsis. How oh, nice. Um, Scholar C highlights. A summary and you can download the full text okay it's good if the full text is available I guess and it summarizes the introduction you can even read more I don't think this is a summary it looks like maybe extracting the most important information, methods, results, conclusions, even states the limitations. How oh, nice. And then you can download the references as well, which is also helpful because um, then you can find more studies related to this study that you found. So this function in Scholarcy is completely free um, because you just download the free extension in Chrome. If you prefer to create an account, and use the paid version, you can first start for free or decide if you want to subscribe or not. They do ask for your credit card details, even if you go for a, a seven day free trial. And this is what it looks like when you are logged in. So here I've already done two searches or found two articles. And here's the one and it gives me a summary of this specific article. Again, very much, very similar to what's given by the Chrome extension. And here you can even do your own search where you say health benefits of exercise and let's see what it gives us. Here's a paper on the health benefits of exercise. It seems like it's free of charge. And then there's a number of papers that are locked up. So it means that scholars don't have access to them. Let's see this one. And it's importing the document to your library. You can, I've now done a search. So it just searches on the web for papers. But you can also um, upload a paper from your own uh, computer. Or you can paste the URL in the spot and find the study in that way. There we go.
another summary of this article. The sections are summarized again in very much the same way as what the Chrome extension does. It does seem to have a few additional headings here, but I think it depends on what's inside the article. Um, the Chrome extension article that we looked at earlier only summarized the limitations, but it seems like here we have future work and study compliance as well. But um, I do think it created the headings based on the content of the article. And here's a comparative analysis. This is something that wasn't available when we used the Chrome extension. And this is quite interesting. And it seems like it gives us work differs from previous work, confirmation of earlier findings, again confirmation, and it gives us studies that are different or the same as earlier work from within the study. Another, another thing that we can really learn from. So this is really a nifty little tool, very useful whether you want to find articles from the web or other databases or you want to upload your own. This tool can really summarize your articles quite well. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.